This is an audio guide about the medication methotrexate, brought to you by Creaky Joints Australia. Be sure to go to creakyjoints.org.au and join for free to keep updated on all our resources. Methotrexate is a tablet form medication often prescribed to treat autoimmune arthritis. Autoimmune conditions occur when the immune system is triggered into overaction and starts to treat parts of the body as foreign objects that it needs to fight in much the same way that it would a virus or infection. In autoimmune arthritis, the immune system can attack multiple joints and organs throughout the body. So treating the condition effectively needs to involve treating the immune system. Other autoimmune conditions include multiple sclerosis, psoriasis and type 1 diabetes. Methotrexate is considered the gold standard of prescription medicine for many forms of autoimmune arthritis as it is generally effective and well tolerated by most people and is cost effective to produce in bulk. Methotrexate belongs to a category of medications called disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs or DMARDs. These medications suppress the immune system slow the progression of disease, and improve symptoms such as pain and swelling. DMARDs can be divided into different classifications. Conventional synthetic DMARDs, also known as CS DMARDs, targeted synthetic DMARDs, also known as TS DMARDs, and biologic DMARDs, known as B DMARDs. The most common DMARDs used for autoimmune arthritis are those from the CS DMARD family, especially methotrexate. This category is often simply referred to as DMARDs, although it is really a subclassification of the whole DMARD class of medications. Conventional synthetic DMARDs are manufactured from chemical compounds with small molecules. Their relatively simple compound structures can be perfectly replicated by generic brands. They are also small enough to be processed through the digestive system so they can be taken in oral form. Other than glucorticoids or steroids, conventional synthetic DMARDs have been on the market for the longest and have the most evidence to support their safety and efficacy. Other medications in this category include hydroxychloroquine, leflunamide, and sulfazalazine. How does methotrexate work? Methotrexate works by blocking enzymes that help DNA, or genetic material in cells of your body, form or repair. This prevents some cells in your body from reproducing themselves. Experts believe that methotrexate also interacts with the immune system. Although it is not entirely clear how methotrexate works, it's been proven to be effective in reducing swelling, pain and long-term damage to joints. How is methotrexate used? Methotrexate can be administered in several forms for autoimmune arthritis, usually on a weekly basis. Your rheumatologist may vary the dosage depending on the severity of your symptoms, up to the maximum recommended level for each form of administration. It is available as a tablet, as a liquid that can be drawn and measured from vials and injected subcutaneously, just under the skin like a flu shot with a disposable syringe, and as a pre-filled syringe, which can also be injected under the skin. Some people have better results with subcutaneous injections as the medicine is absorbed directly into the bloodstream rather than passing through the digestive tract. Therefore, it is often better tolerated by people who may have experienced an upset stomach when taking the tablet form. What are the possible side effects of methotrexate? All DMARDs suppress the immune system, so they can make you more prone to contracting and fighting off infections. It's important to remember that most patients do not experience serious side effects, and for those who do have them, they may improve with time. Side effects are more likely to occur at higher doses and you should always consult your doctor if you think you're experiencing any of these side effects. Gastrointestinal problems such as nausea, upset stomach or loose stools, mouth ulcers, hair loss, abnormal liver function blood tests or abnormal blood counts. Rare side effects include liver cirrhosis or scarring. This usually happens with patients who have already had liver problems 
or are taking more medications that impact the liver. Lung problems also occur rarely and typically only with patients who already have lung issues. Report any difficulty breathing or a cough that won't go away to your doctor. Take these side effects very seriously. People with liver disease may not be able to take methotrexate or require closer monitoring or lower dosing. Increased skin sensitivity to the sun can also occur but may stop when the medication is stopped. Supplements such as folic acid may help you manage these side effects. If regular folic acid doesn't help, you may try another type called methylated folic acid. Talk to your doctor about getting methylated folic acid if you still get mouth ulcers, hair loss, or just a yucky feeling from your methotrexate. Do not plan to get pregnant while either partner is on methotrexate. The Australian Rheumatology Association, the ARA, recommends ceasing methotrexate one to three months before conception. If you do begin a pregnancy while on methotrexate, contact your rheumatologist as soon as possible for advice. Some other medicines and methotrexate may interfere with each other, so it's important to tell all your treating doctors if you are taking any other medicines, including any that you get without prescription from your pharmacy, supermarket or health food shop. For more information about methotrexate and other disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs or DMARDs, visit the Arthritis Treatment section of the Cricky Joints Australia website at crickyjoints.org.au. This information should never replace the information and advice from your treating doctors. It is meant to inform the discussion that you have with healthcare professionals, as well as others who play a role in your care and well-being. Be sure to listen to our other audio guides explaining more about different aspects of the healthcare system that may affect you. Click follow wherever you listen to podcasts and join the Creaky Joints Australia community to receive additional resources to help you live your best life despite arthritis. Join for free at crickyjoints.org.au.